In this tutorial, we'll talk about linear sequence. And linear sequence is a type of sequence, and it is also called arithmetic progression. So what is an arithmetic progression, or what is a linear sequence? An arithmetic progression, also called a linear sequence, is a sequence with a common difference between consecutive terms. When we defined a sequence in the first video of sequence and series, we said that a sequence is an orderly arrangement of terms with a common relationship between consecutive terms. That word, common relationship, must be noted. For a linear sequence, the common relationship that exists between consecutive terms is the common difference, okay? This must be noted. Now, an example of a linear sequence is this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, till infinity. In this case, what will be the common difference? Okay, the common difference is obtained by subtracting the first term from the second term. This is the second term. This is the first term. 2 minus 1 is 1. Okay. 3 minus 2 is still 1. 4 minus 3 is 1, 5 minus 4 is 1, the common difference is 1. 6 minus minus 1, that's 6 plus 1, 7. 13 minus 6, 7. 20 minus 13, 7. Oh, the common difference is 7. Okay, we have 1 half, 1 and 1 half, 2 and 1 half. What is the common difference in this sequence? 1 and 1 half minus 1 half is 1. 2 and 1 half minus 1 and 1 half is still 1. Okay, you can actually say that the next term will be 3 and 1 half because 3 and 1 half minus 2 and 1 half is 1. So the common difference for this sequence is 1. Let us talk about the nth term of an arithmetic progression, which is an AP for short. The nth term of an arithmetic progression is given by the formula u sub n is equal to a plus n minus 1 in bracket times d. What is u sub n? u sub n is the nth term. For example, first term, second term, third term, 101th term. What is A? A is the first term. That is the term that begins the sequence. What is N? Now, take note of this. For Nth term, N is the term number. And what is D? D is the common difference Now, let me say this very quickly. This formula for nth term is also true for last term of a sequence. The last term and the nth term of a sequence have the same nth term formula, all right? Take note of this. Let's solve some basic problems on AP using this formula. I want to determine the ninth term of this sequence that I have here. What is the first term of the sequence? Two. What is the common difference? 5. 7 minus 2, 5. 12 minus 7, 5. 17 minus 2, 5. Okay, the common difference is 5. Okay, the ninth term is what I want to look for. It means that the term number of that ninth term is 9. Yes, that is the point. n is equal to what? 9. So, the nth term formula says u sub n is equal to a plus n minus 1 times what? d, which is the common difference. So the ninth term, which is u sub 9, is equal to a plus n is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. 8d. What is our a? 2 plus 8 times, what is d? 5. 5. 8 times 5 is 40. So 2 plus 40 is equal to 42. 
So that means that if we go on and on to write out each member of this sequence, number 9 will be 42. That is the point. Okay? Now, this is the second question. It says, determine the number of the term whose value is 22 in this series. What they're asking us to find is n, the number of the term. We can see that the first term is what? 5 upon 2. Okay? What is the common difference? The common difference is second term minus first term, 4 minus 5 all over 2. Okay? Um, 2 times 4 is 8. That's 8 minus 5 all over 2, which is equal to what? 3 all over 2. Of course, 11 over 2 minus 4 is 3 over 2. Work it out. 7 minus 11 over 2 is still 3 over 2. So the common difference is 3 over 2. Now, our nth term formula says u sub n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. a is 5 over 2. d is 3 over 2. n is what we are looking for. This u sub n, what is it? They said, determine the number of the term whose value is 22. That means the nth term is 22 itself. That is the point. But what we are trying to look for is the number or the position of 22 in the series. So this is what we'll do now. The nth term is 22. 22 is equal to a is 5 over 2 plus n is what we are looking for times the common difference, which is d, 3 upon 2. So we have 22. If we call it like terms, minus 5 upon 2 is equal to n minus 1 times 3 upon 2. Okay? Now, let's simplify this by LCM. Okay? Um, all over 2. 2 times 22 is 44. Then minus 5 is equal to n minus 1 times 3 all over 2. 44 minus 5 is 39. So we have 39 upon 2 equal to n minus 1 times 3 all over 2. I need to remove this 3 over 2 here. So what will I do? I can just simply say times 2 over 3 times 2 all over 3. That's I'll multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 3 over 2. What I have now is just n minus 1. So 2 can cancel 2 here. I have 39 all over 3, which is equal to what? 13. So 13 is equal to n minus 1. So from here, I can easily get my n. So collecting like terms, we have 13. The 1 will cross and turn to a plus. 13 plus 1 is 14. So it means that the 14th term of the series is 22. That is what it means. 22 is in number 14 in the sequence. So the 14th term is what? 22. N is 14. That's the solution to the problem. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep supporting by subscribing. Like and share this video to your friends and your classmates. I'll see you in the next video.